so i'm back with my new video and in today's video we'll be basically learning that how we can uh, run the application on the ec2 machine on aws in first step we'll be logging into the aws account in second step we'll be uh, connecting to ec2 machine via the console in third step we'll be taking the clone from the github repo the repo uh, basically the code which uh, which we want to build and we want to run on the ec2 machine and in the last step we'll be building it and we'll be doing a test so friends i have logged into my machine with my user id and password i have put it a two two factor authentication so uh, with additional step just make it more secure so on click we can uh, come on to this ec machine so currently it is running a state and these are the some of the information which is available like public ip which we'll be using uh, to hit our rest endpoint so friends what we can do is there is an option available on the top in my last video also i explained this that how we can connect with the console but we can cover this again so on click you will see this kind of console on page will be open so there are three modes and we'll be using the ssh client so we'll click on this i already have downloaded this m key we can directly log into the account if you want to understand that how you can download this pem key and how you can actually log into the ssh console uh, please refer to my previous video where i where i have covered this talk so let's open my console so friends i have opened my console and to log in let's get inside the directory where i have stored the pem key paste it here so friends now i am i have logged in successfully to my ec machine 2 so what next we can do is let's go to the list of directory which is available so friends for this training purpose i created this workspace directory so we need to go inside it's a simple cd command and then within this workspace so there is a directory already exist so what we can do is let's first remove this directory so that we can create a clone again and we can create this directory we remove this directory there is a simple command available rm hyphen rf star and on click all this directory will be removed so friends now there is no directory uh, now let's go back to the the browser and so friends this is my account on github and this is basically the url where my code has been hosted this is my source code repository so for the git clone purpose what we need to do is we need to copy this particular url so friends uh, when when you will be log into the machine on the first time so there is a very simple command which you need to execute uh, so that your git related package can be installed and you can use the git related cmd command so to do that what you need to do is so friends now you see that i already have installed this package but in your case you will be getting the list of logs which will be showing that the particular package will be getting installed so the next thing we need to do is we need to go on this uh, github repo on this code section you will get this https endpoint you need to copy this and then again come back to the console and then you need to write git clone and you need to paste this whole url so friends what this command will do is it will actually copy the whole code from your git repository and will be download in your ec2 machine now we can verify this thing with the help of ls command so friends if you see that uh, my source code has been downloaded under this directory so let's go inside this directory and see that what all file has been downloaded so friends if you see that these are the list of files which has been downloaded from the github repo now the very next thing which we need to do is in last uh, video i would say we already uh, understand that how we can install the go package on your ec2 machine so just 
for uh, reference purpose let's understand that whether go package is working correctly or not so yes friends my go package is working absolutely fine so we are good to go and we can create the build so to create the build what we need to do is we need to run this command go build and then so friends now my build has been successfully created and the very next what we need to do is we need to run this build so friends uh, now uh, it's printed on the console that my application has been successfully started now next thing which we need to do is that we need to enable this port 8080 because my application is running on port 8080 so how we can uh, enable this port we need to go inside the ec2 machine and there is an option available and under this this security and then this is the security group with under which we need to configure this new port so friends right now if you see there is only one port which is enabled that is port 22 and this port 22 we are actually using for executing the cmd command that is this port will help to enable the ssh uh, protocol so we need to click on edit inbound rule add rule so we'll be using the custom tcp so in case we are using uh, a re http endpoint then by default it will take 80 but we are using 8080 and then sources uh, will enable all the ips so in case you are actually hitting this endpoint from the specific ip public ip then you can put that ip here itself put this http port this is just a description for reference purpose and we need to save this route so friends this rule has been saved now my 8080 port is enabled and let's check that our application is working fine or not so what we need to do is we'll go inside this postman now friends this is a public ip which we got from the ec2 machine we can again go back and refer so we'll go to inside the ec2 panel and under ec2 panel this is the public ip which is mentioned now we'll again go here and then this is the home uh, basically the uh, endpoint which i have defined just to check that my application is working fine or not so friends uh, what we need to do is we need to call this api our application is up and my api response is as expected so we have got the response this text which i defined as a response of this rest call and we can uh, verify this and for that what we need to do is we need to go on the github and then under this go so these are the basically two endpoints i have defined home and sole consumer and if we go under the home section so friends this is what we'll be getting in a response so friends this way we can see that we are able to hit our api successfully you are able to learn something then please don't forget to click on the like button and in case you want me to cover uh, in more detail on any of the topic then please put it on a comment section so that i can select those topics for my upcoming videos thank you friends